Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lockdown. It is the morning of day four and the first thing I want to do is spend these four skill points that we have. So let's go into Lucky Looter first. Hopefully that'll get us some good loot today. I want to go into Strength again and Sexual Tyrannosaurus again and Advanced Engineering again. This will unlock workbenches and cement mixers and I would like to get both of those things crafted and put down today, later today. Right now, let's head out. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about, though, so a lot of interesting comments as to why we were getting zombies spawning inside the prison during Horde Night, and it has to do with the ground. It's all dirt and sand, and that's where zombies kind of spawn out of during Horde Night. So if we dig up the ground, even just one block down, and then replace it with blocks, which is a good idea anyway, this way we have a strong foundation instead of a dirt foundation, that should prevent zombies from spawning inside the prison. So we'll start working on that later tonight. Right now we're headed to the junkyard to use the workbench so we can get this mini bike crafted. And then we're going to take the mini bike to that job we took for Trader Jen, get that done, go see Jen, and then we'll just take it from there. I want to get some cars taken apart today, though. We got uh, three or four cars here in the junkyard we'll take apart because uh, we want to find an engine that we can use to craft a cement mixer later. So here we go, mini bike chassis, bam, mini bike handlebars, bam, let those finish up, and then we'll get the bike crafted. In the meantime, let's take these cars apart. Oh, hi, Candy. I'll take that. Nice. Now, let's see if we can get lucky and crack into this safe. I've got three lock picks on me. If we end up breaking all of them, then this gun safe is going to have to wait because I'm not beating into it with a stone axe. Oh, how do you like that? First try. Didn't break any lock picks. Ooh, another triple storage pocket mod. That's crazy. Uh, do we have a place to put that? I think we do. We got a triple in there. Got a single in there and a triple in the boots. So let's replace the uh, single with the triple. And uh, we're looking good. We can also, um, can we repair this bone knife? What do you need to repair a bone knife? A bone? I'm assuming a bone. I don't know though. I've never repaired a bone knife before. Um, let's go check on the mini bike. That should be done. Yep, sweet. Okay. Let's uh, head home. Actually, look, we got bones right here. Bang, can we repair the bone knife now? Look at that. Bam, level two bone knife. All right, uh, let's stop home real quick just because home is right down the road and we got a bunch of shit on us that we can drop off. This will work for now. I do want to make an escape tunnel out of the prison because... What the fuck? It's a prison. It's only right that we dig an escape tunnel. Plus, that'll be a nice, safe way to get in and out of this place. Alright, now, like I said, we're gonna head over to that job for Trader Jen, get that thing knocked out. And on the way there, there's actually a challenge we picked up. You can see it on the compass. It's that white exclamation point, so we're gonna stop there, get that challenge done also. And we'll get the job done. Then we'll go see Jen, and we'll just see what time it is at that point. Uh, here's a full car. Let's take this thing apart. See if we can get an engine. One piece of paper. Good thing we put a point into Lucky Looter. Well, no engine there. That's all right. There'll be more cars around. Look, there's some over here. Let's go check them out. I want to take apart full cars. Cars that are pretty much already disassembled, there's really no chance of getting an engine out of those. I think as long as you can search the vehicle, then there's a chance to get an engine and or a battery. Ah, uh, you can't run. Bam! That's how you lead your shot right there. Man, we should have like a chicken kill counter going on here. Well, still no engine. I'm not going to bother with these other cars. Oh, look. We got more full cars right here. We'll try our luck again. Oh, good lord. This is just ridiculous now. We're going to have to open up NFC. New Jersey Fried Chicken. Damn. 
Damn it, still no engine. Let's check this vending machine. It doesn't work, which is actually a good thing. Because we're going to take it apart and get some, uh... You sleeping there, buddy? He's sleeping. We'll let him sleep. Actually, I don't think kneeling down makes this shit any quieter, so... What's the fucking point? Um, but anyway, like I was saying, now we got forged iron right there. We can make a repair kit. Using the forged iron and duct tape, and we can repair our wrench, because it's just about out of life. Okay, let's repair this thing. And we have another piece of forged iron, just in case we need to make another repair kit and repair it again. And we got another full car right here outside Zoe's Salon. I haven't raided this place in a while. Maybe we'll hit it up later when we get back home, depending on what time it is. Oh, hey, little buddy. No need to run. Just gonna bash you with this hammer. <laughs> I hit my mini bike. Uh, got a fire zombie over there. No big deal. Let's harvest this chicken. I'll take care of that fire zombie before we activate this challenge, though. Alright, here we are. Seems like a decent sized house for a tier one job. Let's get started. Oh, well, looks like up in the attic is the way to go. We can't make that jump, so... Gonna have to use a frame. Oh shit! Damn it, Thick! You sneaky bastard! Alright, let's go. Oh, probably should have checked to see if we were reloaded before jumping down here. But I think we're good. We already know that. Wasteland treasures. Uh, adds a chance to harvest acid from cars, medical equipment, stuff like that. That's good. Can always use more acid. Electrical timer relay schematic and another challenge. We'll read that in a sec. That sure looks like a plug to me. And there is the courier satchel. And that's it. Job's done. All we got to do now is return to Jen, but of course we're going to finish raiding this house first. Not going to leave all this loot behind. Scrap this hat, scrap this plant, drink this water, and we'll read this challenge. Uh, listen up, fucker. <laughs> I love whoever writes these challenges. We're like soulmates. All right, that's on the map now. It's just kill some infected zombies. So at some point, if we come across that challenge, we'll get it done. Oh, that was the curtains. <laughs> Stupid falling curtains. Imagine getting hurt by falling curtains. It's a fireman's almanac book. Uh, use this technique to increase attack speed with axes by 5%. All right. I'll take it. Laundry room. Sewing kit. Nothing. And nothing up there. Oh shit! Sneak attack! Look at this guy. We got the fucking Doubleman twins right here. Not bad. 
scrap the club, but take everything else. Uh, scrap those boots. Scrap, take, and I think we're done here. Uh, level 4 blunderbuss will bring that down. Sell this level 2, and we are out of space here. Um, let's uh, scrap these pipes. Bring down the blunderbuss. Oh, I forgot to use this eye candy. That's all right. We'll have plenty more opportunities to use that eye candy. We got a full car in the garage over here. Let's try our luck. We're still looking for that engine. There it is, with the battery. Very nice. Now we can definitely get a cement mixer crafted tonight. We got a zombie. All right. Um... We gotta craft a workbench first, though, because you have to craft a cement mixer in a workbench. So we'll get a workbench put down, get a cement mixer crafted, and we will be looking good. Oh, some more eye candy. I will take that. All right, let's go see Jen. What up, Hello, Jen? Traveler. Good job. Some XP good and some tokens. That's from the challenge we did. More XP, more tokens, and the Great Heist Volume 4. Even though we can't really use that, 20% more damage against land claim property, still going to take it. So we can work towards opening up, uh, you know, or, or reading all the, the heist books or whatever. It's much, in, in my opinion, it's, it's better than a cooling mesh mod. We don't really need one of those. Not yet, anyway. Uh, she's not taking these blunderbusses. That's All fine. I'll either then. scrap them or safe, try okay. selling them another day. All right, let's see what you got in your inventory, Jen. Looking for a helmet light mod. Nothing yet. She's got some ammo. That's good. Ooh, steel sledgehammer schematic. I would totally buy that if I planned on rocking a sledgehammer in this series, but I don't. Uh, level 1 marksman rifle. Um, Alright, I guess we'll spend money on some ammo. Let's go back to those shotgun shells. Where are they at? Yeah, here we go. Let's buy these first. And then we'll buy this 762, I guess. It's only 14 rounds. And then there was 9mm also. 125. We're not going to be able to afford all this. You know what? Um, let's just hold on to the coin we have. Uh, and let's take another job, too. Why not? Oh, close by buried supplies. Fuck it. Let's do this. that right now. All right, here we are. Let's uh, take this tree out first. All right, let's get to digging. And this is good. This will get us some clay soil. And then on the way home, we'll mine some stone. And we'll use the clay soil and the stone to craft cobblestone. And then we'll use the cobblestone to craft flagstone blocks. And those are what we're going to use to start putting in the floor at the prison. And then, of course, you got to upgrade the flagstone blocks with cobblestone to cobblestone blocks. And then you got to upgrade those with concrete. And yes, I will be putting in a cement mixer tonight, but it'll take some time to get the concrete flowing. Here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot zombies are going to come. That's all right. We can get out of here pretty quickly. All food. I'll take it. Where are you at, zombies? Hey, Jen, I'm back. Good Give me job. something harder Stranger next time. Tech Junkie Volume 5. Yep, taking for. that. And let's do... Uh, let's do this one to the southwest, since our home is to the west. We'll get that done tomorrow. That might be in the same town... Uh, it is. Same town as the uh, job that we did today. So we'll do that uh, in the morning. Come back here, see Jen again. And then we need to start thinking about and, and working on a base at the prison. 
I think we can totally get away with doing the same thing we did for night three on night six. I might change it up a little bit and do it at the top of the stairs because there's like a spiral staircase. So what I might do is finish the spiral staircase down to ground level, maybe start fighting the horde down there. And then if they break through, uh, run up the stairs to the doorway at the top of the spiral stairs and, and fight them up there because that might bottleneck them at the top of the steps and when you when we hit them with the club might send them falling off of the steps and put them in a little loop we'll see either way i think we can totally handle the night six horde in that watchtower which would then give us till night nine to get something more legitimate built but before we start building something i would like to get the floor upgraded in the prison so that's what we're going to start working on tonight All right, that should fill us up pretty decent. Let's drink some water, too. And we'll read this tech junkie book. Stun Repulsor Mod. Oh, that's interesting. You put that into a stun baton, and it kind of shocks the zombies, throws them back a little bit after uh, a couple of hits or so. We'll see. If we can find a decent stun baton, maybe we'll craft a Repulsor Mod and use the stun baton for once. I always skip over that weapon. Maybe we'll put it to use in this series. It does make sense, right? We're running a prison. Use a fucking stun baton. All right, pretty long day. A lot of driving, but that's okay. We got a lot done. And the more jobs we can crank out for Jen, the better. The faster we will open up the route to another trader. Get uh, two traders on the map. You know, a lot of people have told me, um, through the years, I guess, to do a, a series where we don't use any trader at all. No trader series. I don't know about that. I'd have to really seriously put some thought into it, but I don't like that idea because I use traders mostly for ammo. So if we cut traders out, that just means we have to grind for ammo. You know, it just means we have to spend that time constantly uh, mining coal and nitrate powder and making gunpowder and just constantly having to craft ammo. Whereas, you know, I like going out on loot runs and then using the loot we don't need to sell to the trader and using that money to buy ammo. So to take the trader out of the equation, that just means we got to grind more and uh, I'd rather not do that. Let's sustain a little bit of life. Why not? Bam and bam. I guess it doesn't really matter where we start when digging up the floor, but I'm going to start over here. This ground will give us stone and sand. Two things we're going to need to craft concrete, so that's good. Because I am going to get, like I said, a workbench and a concrete mixer put down tonight. Okay, that's a good start, but before the night gets away from us, let's go ahead and get a workbench crafted. And then once we get that put down, we can go ahead and get a cement mixer crafted. All right, slight hiccup with the workbench. We've got the forged iron. We've got the mechanical parts. We're crafting a claw hammer right now. Of course, we have the wood, but it requires a wrench, and we only have one wrench. So we're going to have to use the wrench we have to craft the workbench. And then we're just not going to have a wrench. But that's okay because we already have the engine that we need for the cement mixer. We've already got a mini bike. I think we can do without a wrench for now. Hopefully we'll find one tomorrow. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So I'm going to let the, uh, the hammer finish crafting. And then we're going to craft a workbench. And then put that down. And then get a cement mixer crafting. And then I'm going to continue working on replacing the ground with flagstone blocks for the rest of the night, and we'll pick things up on the morning of day five. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.